So what will I be at the age of 30 or the age of 35 or 40 or 50 or 60? You know, unfortunate accidents aside, let's pray that, you know, nothing happens. I think at these ages, I will be different in certain ways, for sure. How? Because of all the incremental things I'm doing to improve myself in a variety of ways on a daily basis. Now, I'm not where I want to be in terms of consistency and actually doing it every day, but I'm working on it. And if I can keep up with certain things, and some things I've gotten into a bit of a habit of doing, one thing I love doing is um, reading and listening to uh, books and audiobooks. And not just any books, not fictional books that just entertain me, but actually helpful books on things from uh, the psychology of happiness to uh, scientific studies on success. Things like this book right here. Think and Grow Rich, one of the most well-known books in terms of creating financial wealth for yourself. Over 15 million copies sold and counting. And um, these incremental things, and again, it's more so than just accumulating knowledge. If you're not applying it, understanding it properly, and a lot of other stuff, it's just, you know, knowledge can be useless. But um, these things, I think, are what separate uh, me from other people you know I'm not saying I'm better than other people at all but there are people and bless their hearts you know they don't know any better sometimes if you take them at 22 years of age or 20 years of age and then you compare them to that person at 28 years of age or 30 years of age or whatever age there is really not much difference at all they're pretty much the same person give or take some life experiences that occurred to them or just more experience through actual life events that they've put in, taken into account and put into their memory. And you see this quite a lot and bless their hearts, it's not their fault, but ultimately they're pretty much the same person. See, what I've developed or what I've learned is that one of the most amazing things that you can do is become a lifelong learner. If you're a lifelong learner, you're constantly improving yourself intellectually with the vast amounts of knowledge that you accumulate through uh, different sources, reading and so forth. And again, if you add on top of that other uh, ways of improving your life, it can catapult you to a very different pathway 10, 20 years out. Again, there's obviously the problem of consistency and hard work and hard work ethic and a clear path in mind and a lot of these things that I don't think right now I have fully and there's tons and tons of people who are much better at me in terms of work ethic and a lot of other things and they'll go far and these incremental small changes will translate over so again this applies to obviously health and fitness so if you you're consistent like that your body will show it your physique will show it 10, 20, 30 years out for sure. Health, you know, that may not show fully, but it could dramatically increase your happiness, your psychology, your longevity, how old you get, how young you look, a lot of these things. Um, again, diet plays into that as well. And here's another thing. Um, the dating scene as well. So this is something that uh, I think is, um, you know, deeper than you think. And there's more things that you can do. And it does require effort in the modern age. And there's a bunch of things I think I can start working on. And um, all these things can add together to create something down the road that can be exceptionally amazing. So that's what I want to say in a nutshell. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.